Look at that, it's nine tenths up for the British rider. The engineer who on the track himself is riding away. It's back to tick tenths though with three laps to go. And the laps are getting quicker now for Milan. It's three tenths, almost four now. Bigger mass to hold on with just over two laps to go. The crowd are really getting into this as Milan's pulling it back. It's 0.128 in the favor of Dan Bigham right now. Let's see as Milan is gonna edge ahead. Oh no, it's gonna be heartbreak I think for Dan Bigham here. Let's see what he's got left in the tank because Jonathan Milan is up by a half a second. Drama going into the final lap. Bigham looked really good, but Jonathan Milan has saved his best for last into the final lap. Bigham now is losing pace and Jonathan Milan is going to be the European champion in the individual pursuit. It's a 4.03744 for Jonathan Milan with a sensational ride who left it to the final kilo but really put the hammer down. And after a solid effort for Dan Bigham, he has to settle for silver. Wow, we've had some very entertaining individual pursuit finals. This is what I love to see. But Bigham slowing a bit towards the end now, a combination of Milan being able to accelerate in that final kilometre. Really impressive pursuiting there by Milan. Your second individual pursuit of the day is so tough, and that's the key with pursuiting. You've got to ride that first ride well to get yourself into that final. You need to be top two. Then you've got to do the whole thing all over again just a few hours later, which is nowhere near enough time to recover. Italy. There's right up there and taking that European title and well for Dan Bigham it was so close to being individually we know he's a world champion in the team pursuit yeah. of course he's been the hour record holder but this would have been a huge moment racing in his career taking an individual title yeah of course it would have been but also you know it's not a bad thing to get the odd silver here and there you know it's going to keep him hungry he's spoken about how much he's the, the rivalry between GB and the Italians going into this Olympic cycle it is really hotting up. And of course, he works with Ghana because of his role at Ineos. So it's all very interesting. But yeah, another win for Italy against GB. In a roundabout way, Italy benefiting from his own knowledge and very research so. as well. It's a really intriguing backstory. But the delight on the night goes to Jonathan Milan.